Hi guys, I'm Stephanie London. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I put a video up. Um, I've been really busy. Um, as some of you might know, I went to the RWA conference recently in New York and had the most amazing time. It was so much fun. I got to meet a ton of people that I'd only ever spoken to online and just being able to have that face-to-face -face connection was really amazing. Um, but I came home feeling extremely exhausted. I sort of was surviving on maybe five hours, six hours sleep a night. My roommates were kind of night owls, so I came back and was just completely drained and I had a book due straight after that. So um, unfortunately YouTube kind of got put to the side, but I'm back now and I wanted to ease into making videos again by doing something a little bit fun and not too serious. So I'm actually going to be doing the accent tag, um, which is where I'll read a bunch of words with my Australian accent and also go through a list of questions about the words that we use for things. As a writer I find these tags actually really helpful because sometimes I write characters that aren't Australian and as I've come to realize living in Canada at the moment that the words that we use for things in Australia can be very very different even for kind of simple things. So I'm going to go through and read the words. I have my laptop down in front of me so I apologize I'm going to be looking down a little bit for this video um, but I'll be going through all of the words and the questions and um, hopefully this is helpful to anyone who might be wanting to write an Australian character to hear how we say things and to hear the words that we call things. So I'm just going to go through all of the words now. Aunt, roof, root, wash, oil, theatre, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, shore, data, ruin, crayon. Now this is a tricky one. I would say New Orleans, although I am led to believe that it's supposed to be pronounced New Orleans, and I think if it's a place you should use the correct pronunciation, so not sure about that one. Um, pecan, both, again, probably, spitting image, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, syrup, pajamas, court, naturally, aluminum, envelope. Aluminum or aluminium? I don't even know which is the correct one now. No, I think we say aluminium. See, I've been here too long and now I'm all confused. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go through the questions now. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? TPing? I don't know, I've never done that, so I'm not sure. What is the bug that when you catch it, it curls into a ball? I think we call them earwigs. They're like kind of like little like, tiny centipede things. Uh, what is the bubbly carbonated drink? We call it soft drink. So that's anything like a um, like a Fanta or Coke or anything like that. It's called soft drink in Australia. What do you call gym shoes? Runners or maybe sneakers? Sneakers is more like a um like a Converse kind of thing and like a shoe that you would go running in as a runner. Uh, what do you say to address a group of people? Hey guys. What do you call the kind of spider or spider-like creature that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs? I would call that a daddy long legs, but we have a billion spiders in Australia, so it could be any different type of spider. What do you call your grandparents? Um, now, I'm half Italian, half English, so on the English side, it was Nana and Pa, but on the Italian side, it was nonno and nonna. Uh, what do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? We call this a, a trolley, a shopping trolley. Um, and when I first came to Canada, I asked someone where the shopping trolley was and they looked at me and they had no idea. I think they call them a shopping cart here. What do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? A sun shower. And what is the thing you use to change the TV channel with? This question made me laugh. I call it a remote. I didn't even think there would be another word for that. But yeah, in Australia, the TV channel changing device is definitely a remote. So that's a short and sweet video. Um, the accent tag. I hope you enjoy it. I'd love to hear um, particularly the answers to the questions. What do you guys call those things? Um, 
from the different areas that you're from. I'd love to hear your comments on that. Or if you're from Australia and you happen to call any of those things different words, let me know. I'm really fascinated by that. So I hope you guys have had fun watching this silly little video and I will see you all with a, um, a new video very soon. I'm working on a bit of a a list of um, stuff to film for up and coming videos so I can kind of get back into the swing of it. So I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.